Hey guys, it's Albert in Muffin Group. In today's video, I would like to show you how to customize WooCommerce single product layout easily with the Bay Builder. It's really important to know that you are not limited with the pre-built layouts in theme options only, but you can also create totally own design based on your needs. So, let's not waste the time and hop onto my screen. To create WooCommerce single product layout, we have to go to templates and add a new one. Now let's choose single product and let's name our template maybe my custom product and hit create template. Now we will be redirected to the bbuilder automatically so we can start building our template. Alright, let's start from adding section first and under advanced background Let's change background color to white. Now, I need the full width wrap and inside, I would like to drag and drop breadcrumbs element. Let's set the limiter to this arrow. Perfect. One more thing here. Under advanced spacing, it would be great to decrease spacing between the breadcrumbs and elements I would like to add below. So, let's set margin bottom to 20 pixels. Let's move on then. And next row, I want to set image gallery on the left and all necessary details about the product on the right side. Therefore, let's add two wraps, three fifths on the left and two fifths on the right. For the left one, I'm going to drag and drop product images element. Let's now decrease the size on this element to fifth six. You will ask why? because it's easier for me to manage items with width, our plus and minus instead of adding margin or padding to wraps or elements. Let's move on to the right wrap. The first element I would like to drag and drop as product title and I want it to be H2 heading. As I want to decrease spacing between product title and elements below, I am planning to add and the advanced spacing tab Let's set 20 pixels for bottom margin as we did it for the breadcrumbs before. The next element I want to add is product rating. For this element, I am going to set inactive stars color to gray color and also under advanced spacing, I'm gonna set bottom margin to 20 pixels like before to make all spacing consistent. The next element is gonna be the icon box. Here, I need to change a few things to make look the way I want. So, add the content, set title content order to title first, icon position to left, icon alignment to center and also let's set custom image. Great! Now in the style tab, let's make some adjustments. Padding has to be 8 pixels, 12 pixels, 8 pixels, 12 pixels, border style solid, border color gray, border width 1 pixel and border radius 4 pixels. These were adjustments for container. Let's switch now to icon wrapper. And here I want the width to be auto and right margin 10 pixels. That's all I wanted to set for the image. Let's now switch to the advanced dimensions tab as I want to set its width to inline. Now under spacing sub tab, let's again set 20 pixels of bottom margin as for all elements above. Let's now add next element, short description. If you wonder where does this description comes from, it's products, product short description content you can set while editing and the product in the backend. For this element, I am going to set 20 pixels of margin under advanced spacing tab. The next element will be add to cart element. Let's change the button text to buy now. If you wonder where from attributes like colors and HDD size were taken from, these are attributes set for product. You can add any you like when editing product. Let's now style them a bit. Under style, quantity, let's set color to kind of dark brown. And now let's move on to variation tab and set color to dark blue. But also, we need to style a typography a bit. 28 pixels of size, 32 pixels of line height, and also I want the font width to be bold. 
That's it for Add to Cart element. We can move now to the next item. It's gonna be Icon Box. Let's modify a bit to make it look much nicer for the purpose of this single product template. Let's set title to Need Fast Implementation, tag to Paragraph, Content with some basic HTML tags and title content order set to title first. Icon position has to be set to left, icon alignment to start, and also let's set custom image for that box as well. The last thing is hover effect, as I wanted to move up. Now let's switch to style to make some adjustments as well. Under container tab, let's set padding to 20 pixels, background color to kind of white, and border radius to 8 pixels. We can switch to the icon wrapper tab now. Here, we need to make some changes as well. Let's set fixed width and high to 56 pixels and right margin to 20 pixels. Now let's set image width to 32 pixels, background color to white and border radius to 8 pixels. Also, let's switch the title now and here change its color to dark blue and bottom margin to 8 pixels. Under description tab, all I have to set is its color to kind of brown. Now, let's switch to the advanced tab and change bottom margin to 20 pixels, just like for all elements above. The next element I want to be similar, but with different content and image. Let's duplicate this element then. And all I want to change here is title to how do I place an order? a bit different content with some basic HTML tags as well, and icon to custom image. It's that simple. The last element I would like to add into right wrap is product meta. Here we have details like tags, categories, or SKU, and this comes from product settings as well. So we have both wraps filled with content, but one more thing left. As I wanted the left wrap to be sticky on scroll according to the content on the right side. For that, I have to go to the settings of the left wrap and enable sticky option. We can also set sticky offset if necessary. In my case, 340 pixels should be fine. As you can see now, when we start scrolling, the gallery on the left will be sticky. There is one more section I would like to add to make this single product template even more interesting. Let's add the section then. Inside that section, I want wrap to be full width and inside that wrap, I'm gonna drag and drop product tabs element. Here, I want its position to be top and alignment to center. This element has three tabs you can switch between. Description, additional information and reviews. Description is the content built with the beer builder for a specific product. So when you are editing product and you click edit with B builder, you will be taken to the B builder where all the content I already built for that product is. Of course, you can build any content you like for each product using our phenomenal B builder. Additional information and reviews comes from WooCommerce. So if there are any reviews for product or additional information like attributes, dimensions, weight, etc., they would appear under this tab. Now, let's switch to style tab. As I want to have a nice looking tiny line between navigation and content below, under navigation tab, I will set border style to solid, border color to gray, and one pixel of bottom border width. Let's move on to nav items tab now. Here I want to set padding to be 24 pixels, border style solid, and border bottom width one pixel. Let's change colors for normal hover and active states for the navigation items as well. For normal, color has to be dark blue, background transparent, and border color transparent as well. For hover, Color and border color has to be dark blue. And exactly the same for the active tab. That's perfect. We have our template for single product ready. We can save now our template. The pop-up 
with conditions would appear. As I want this template to have for smartphones category only, I will select include product category smartphone. Let's hit save button now. And let's go to our shop then, open smartphone category and open any product. As you can see, the template we just created have been applied for product under smartphone category. It's exactly what I wanted to achieve. You can basically create as many templates you like and assign them for specific categories, tags, products and much more. The only thing that limits you is your imagination. Hope you like this video and from now on creating custom WooCommerce single product design will be way much easier and pleasant. If you like this video, I encourage you to watch another video where I explained how to use WooCommerce attribute swatches. And as always, thanks for watching and remember to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified every time you release a new video. And if you have more questions, please visit our support center at support.muffingroup.com.